Well, look what's back, y'all. Been a while since I saw this one, a few months. Haven't done an update or anything. Like a finished update. I don't believe I have. Car was done in July. Jason and the guys at Advance finished it up, but uh, the paintwork and the interior. But now it came back in for some winter upgrades. But I just want to do a short video to show you how it ended up. Uh, this thing is gorgeous. It's a, it's a, it is a really nice car. Everything that was done to it, Dwayne should be proud. It, uh, it came out really nice. 66 SS 396 four speed car. It's got a 427 in it now. Came in and I need to take a picture of that and send it to Dwayne. But Dwayne, if you see this, there you go, buddy. Dual electric fans in now. I might add, there just sure ain't no room down there. But they're in, they fit. Nice car. I've got to, uh, all covered up, but wipers work. Wipers didn't work before, motor and switch. For those of y'all that don't know, Dash is dang near got to come out of a 66 Chevelle to get to that switch, right? Yeah. But we got it done. Dakota uh, in the Dash. What else did we do to this? Oh, added cruise control. Uh, the heating, can, where is that at? I don't know if you can see that. Classic auto air added to it. Stereos in it. Brand and new interior. I believe Jason's dad did this one. Kind of makes a feller not want to sit on those seats i promise you but it will about all i got left is to calibrate the speedometer i gotta check it out there's a problem with it it's not reading i assume the sensor but power brakes uh like i said before 427 600 horse deal i believe this one is uh msd what else to be oh cruise control there's the, that head Air conditioning we added. Uh, that was fun, I might add. Not bad, but it was it was definitely in the work in, in that work description. But kind of a I probably should have done this before, but because this old girl is filthy dirty now. We need to get it cleaned up and get it back in the box, get it back to Dwayne so you can start cleaning get it ready for car show season next year this year actually a couple months had to snatch the tank out of it and fix a little leak oops fall against the door but uh now don't mind them shadows that's that's lighting in the shop that ain't nothing in the paint i promise you but for any of y'all that have been paying attention and my absence on the channel here, the work doesn't stop. Back to fixing that hood. That's fun. We, uh, we don't quit. Plenty of work to do. Just a matter of trying to get it all lined up in a part-time one-man gang, one-man shop, like I am, but... There you have it. Finally got wires hidden, tied together, in for those electric fans. They were not, they were not fun. That's, but we got the breakers and the relays moved, wired in. So they are serviceable now, easy to work on. Now uh, onto that speedometer, get it sorted out and uh, get it back to the customer. So, here we go. Spring is gonna be right around the corner. It'll be time to get the old, get the old cars out again.
<clears throat> and uh, start having fun again. I will, uh, I will be following up with some more videos here pretty soon out of the old shop. Here we go. Never a dull moment. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, all that bull stuff. <laughs> uh, I got a couple more coming in. They're going to be exciting, going to be different. And I've got to start uh, passing out information for the inaugural 2024 BOP Heartland Nationals. We've upgraded the Buick race to a BOP race with Carney and uh, it's going to be a good time. So stand by. Here we go. New Year's done. Season Season's getting close. We got to get to work. Short video, short follow-up. Don't know when I'll see this car again, but if Dwayne wants some more work done, we'll get some more work done on it. Have a good night, y'all. Let's get this. We'll get this one done and out of here, and I'll get this video up. Thanks for watching.